Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird, Leo. Come on in. Let's get you a message. It's going to be for all Leo placements, guys. If you don't know all of your placements <coughs> in your birth chart, this is an amazing time to go ahead and hit that link cafeastrology.com in the description box because that's going to give you all of your placements and your birth charts all of your placement and your four sign placements and all of your placements in leo so that is also a good interesting way to look at your birth chart and learn about you all right and how to also apply this message so let's jump right on in now Leo, you know the drill. The energy can fluctuate back and forth between you and your person. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the North Node energies, any uh, third party energy, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Someone is seeing you as the lover's card. All right. They're seeing you, Geminian energy. This is someone that wants to connect with you. Someone here wants a relationship with you. They want to build with you. Hell yeah, three of cups. They want to come together. They could also be asking others about you, wanting to see who others you connect with. All right. Now, someone here can also want to kind of um, get you to connect to somebody. Or they want you to connect them to somebody that's around you. All right, take a hot resonates, all right? This could have just happened to some of you guys. It's like maybe you hooked somebody up or a friend of a friend hooked up or groups of a groups hooked up. All right, so the oh, all right, so this fell out. Okay, oh gosh, oh my gosh, what is going on? It's flipping all around. So, your energy is very jumpy. We got the chariot, that's that Tessorian energy there. We have the magician popping out, that's that uh, Aryan energy there. Okay, fire energy. We have the hair font. All right, that's that Tessorian energy coming in for you guys. We got the star cork, star seed energy. For some of you guys, Aqua Arian. Eight of Pentacles coming right behind that. That's Capricorn and the World Card. All Earth energy for me when it comes to the World Card. So, sorry, Capricorn and Virgo. All right. Uh-huh. Someone here wants to manifest, move towards you real quickly. We got the Chariot, the Magician, the Hierophant, Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I mean, they want to do this real quick. Yeah, Queen of Wands. They found you very attractive. All right. Um, here. Whether you are a man or a woman here, quickly. Okay. Aries Pisces in here. This person is manifesting this right now here with the magician in the higher front. They want this connection. They know that that's what they want. Some of you guys can also um, be connected to someone very spiritual or... Um, you are very spiritual, but the thing is this person wants to lock you down quickly, honey, because this is someone new for a lot of you guys, because they find you to be very, very, very attractive. This is someone here that wants to get to you, the star court and the eight of pentacles and figure out how to get things started before they others do. Okay. The world card. Okay. Someone here can also see you, um, being a little, um, you're single. All right. They want you to stay single. Now, for some of you guys, if you're on here for someone new, okay, and if you're on here for someone in the past, this is what is going on here. Now, someone you guys could meet um, someone when you're traveling. It's also for some of you guys here. Now, eight... Um, here is your angel number, guys. Now, eight has to deal with navigation, prosperity, and authority. Leo, I'm going to make sure I write that down for you guys so I can hashtag that down below for you guys. Yeah, for some of you guys, navigation, you're going to meet this person traveling. This can even be back car with the chariot here when you manifest this connection, all right? It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, long travel. Out of the country travel, even though it could be. What's the world card? But this person like you. They like what they see. They see you in your ocean energy. This is your confirmation. You could be somebody um, that is covered over ocean. Ocean could be over your head. Uh, here you see that crown energy in the sunflowers here. 
All right. If you're a man or woman and you sexy as hell, they want to know the truth about you. This is the truth. This is what they think. Definitely air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aqua Arians. I want to see what this world card is. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hold on, guys. One second. Okay, so there's something about you guys having a lot of energy. All right, a lot of uh, telekinesis here with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, uh -huh, the Three of Wands and the Death card. Okay, this is the thing. Uh-uh. All right, some of you guys are going to meet this person traveling. Now, I'm going to tell you that we're going to break this shit down like a pound, Leo, because we don't got time for this shit in 2023. No, we don't. Now, the world card in the goddamn three of ones. For some of you guys, this could, it could be someone that comes from out of the country. Maybe you're into this person because they are different. Queen of Wands. Uh, the three of ones in a world card. Maybe they come from a different nationality than you do. There's two ethnic backgrounds. Someone here could be Puerto Rican. Someone here could be African American. Someone here could be Caucasian. Someone here could be Portuguese or something here like that. And maybe you thought about connecting and this is an um, interesting information uh, relationship. Okay, yes, and it's this information, um, interesting information. But this is someone here, uh, things are going to end. Oh, for some of you guys, this person could be in an arranged marriage that they're not telling you about. This can be a spiritual marriage, especially if this person's from out of out of out of town. Yeah, but they're going. This is going to end, or this is someone that's going to end things with you. The Empress and the Fox energy in this tarot deck here is because um, they are either for some of you guys, this person has a Commonwealth marriage, or they're married. Seven of Swords and Temperance. And they're not telling you about that. That's why things were so imbalanced with you and this person. That's why I put you and this person in the pay, um, in the Fab of Pentacles energy. Yep, because it was toxic. I'm telling you, the devil card. This is what turned this shit toxic. Now, for some of you guys, this person could have just ended things quickly off the blue. Yeah, I told you, the Page of Pentacles energy and the Strength card. You could have been trying to reach out to this person. Hell yeah, this person here. Now, someone here could have um, not told you they were moving away or moving out of town. If it's not that, someone here um, you liked on a lighter note. All right, because these are general messages. So, all of you guys are not going to resonate with the whole message. But you could have met someone here. And this person is... Moving out of town, moved out of town, and they met somebody. Yeah, they did. And they're thinking about cutting us off. Five of Swords and the King of Swords. Um, take it how it resonates for you. All right, but this person met somebody. This is why they're thinking about cutting us off. Um, for some of you guys, you know, this is someone here that could already have somebody. Something, you know, they're something for some of you guys. This person is definitely from a distance. This could be a different background. This could be, you know, some shit like that is here, y'all. Take it how it resonates for you. It's going to be different for everybody. Child, look what just fell over. When I travel, I F other people. That's what you didn't know about this person. Hold the hell up. Can I see the double card, please? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what they, that's that's why and they ended things. They travel. You met this person when you were traveling. This is someone here. This is what they do. Mm. You could have really liked this person, Leah. Whether this is a man or a woman. What's the devil card? This is a sneaky ass empress energy. Yep, three of swords. And the sun card. Yeah. And that came out sideways. Yep. Yeah. Yep, the Five of Cups is here, uh-huh, and the Ten of Wands. And for some of you guys, you could have really felt for this person. Yep, and then, and look, Freedom, the Ace of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. This is, I heard, on to the next one. Uh, on to, that's Jay-Z. Then they on to the next one, honey. Yep, 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 yep. This person here, like, uh, they got options. You could be dealing with, like, yeah. The things that I'm about to say that you could have met somebody here and you thought, you know, by accident you guys met. 
you know, you kicked it, boom, boom. But actually, this is someone that could travel all the time, meet up with people, kick it. Y'all have sex. It's boom. It's this and that. And then they're like, oh, yeah. Eight of swords and three of cups when they got them ten of swords. Then they're like, out. They're done. This is wild as hell. This is why this in, it ended. Yeah. And this is someone that will see who what they can get out of you, too. This, what else is going on with the seven of swords? They sneaky as hell. Uh, I told you. I... Oh mm, my gosh. Oh my. This is a female for a lot of you guys or someone that's in a bitch ass energy. We got Queen of Pentacles. Uh, um, I'm sorry. The King of Pentacles. Aries in Taurus energy. And we have the Queen of Swords. Libra and Gemini energy. Libra and Virgo energy. After they get what they want, they, uh, queen, the the Warrior of Pentacles in this deck, they cut it off, the Queen of Swords. And they're on to the next one, King of Cups. Um, warrior of Cups, emotionally manipulating people. That's what this person it, it does. And like I said, yeah, Six of Swords and the Two of Cups, on to the next one. And for some of you guys, you might feel this, you might know this, you might just, might just be like feeling like, oh, okay, this is what this person is on. This is this person's game. This is what they're into. This is what they're onto. Now, this is not someone you meet out of town or whatever. This is someone that you could have met traveling at the gas station, at the store. You met them. This is what they do. And they were, and for some of you guys, they were sizing you up. Anyway, seeing what you had, Warrior of Pentacles. With a third eye. Okay, shoes look nice. Okay, he got to watch. Okay, boom. Damn it. Or she. All right, she. All right, all right. Yep, Finny bad boy. Uh, Something like it. that. What else is going on here, Holy Spirit? Oh, my goodness. Holy Spirit. They sneaky as hell. And if you were in a relationship with this person when they travel or when they are traveling for work, for school, for groceries, they'll pick up people. My beautiful universe, my Holy Spirit. This is just for the collective. They'll pick up people. This is a cheater. And they don't hold, their relationships don't hold water. This is why this will end. And, it, and this is it. You have their true colors. Time out. And what is this? Yep, Pandora's box. For some of you guys, you're going to figure this out. Yep, holding on. You might have been wanting to hold on to this connection, but you're going to, yep, walk away. Mm-mm. You like oh all right like it's going to become clear to you what's going on this game that's being played. This is like yeah. All right, let's see what is the um oh my pride and ego led us astray in reverse. I told you this is someone here that's in their ego. This is what they do. It's like they cocky. We've both changed a great deal. I feel you moved on from me. Yeah. And for some of you guys, you you like, no, I'm not on this shit. I, I used to be, or I know somebody, or when I was back in my day, I used to play games like this, but I'm not. I'm good. I'm cool. Hurting um, you, I'm sorry, hurting you hurt me even more. I do feel like for some of you guys, um, this person, because the energy, some the cards came out sideways, all right? So for some of you guys, this person could have realized, you know, maybe they are starting to learn some of their ways like, damn, I shouldn't play this game with everybody because I did kind of like such and such. And now that I did it and now that we're not talking time out, like it might have affected them a little bit if you guys care to know. Yep, I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. Oh, my God. I cannot make this shit up. And then you got to understand when, um, so, you know, I read for divine beings on my channel. So, you, you know, we don't do the karmic energy on my channel. Um, but like, you know, God will use you sometimes. You got to understand when you are somebody's karmic lesson. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I struggle with love, uh, with love and expressing it. It just does not come easy to me. And someone here, they might have learned to just a way that, you know, I, I ain't making excuses for this person, but... You know, they know they fucked up. They know their ways is effed up. All right, let's go ahead and get you guys a um, 
oracle message. I love uh, overall messages between the both of you guys. What's the overall messages? For Leo, for the collective, what is the overall messages? I'm going to use the universe and Holy Spirit. What is the overall messages for Leo? Yep, mm-hmm, guilty universe. That's, yep, this person is getting back some universal karma, all right, from the way they treated you here because they, you know, they could have saw you was a real person and they knew this. That's why the cards came out sideways. They Their feelings could have started to change like, damn, I shouldn't have started playing this game with them. Maybe it was too late because they already started playing that game and they just wrote it out, something like that. Gone. Yep, even when they feel lost, there's a way out out of the labyrinth. This is someone here that they definitely want to still connect with you, Cupid. I told you. This is someone here. They're, the lesson, you taught this person a lesson, believe it or not. But this is why this ended. This is because this is someone here that has to learn some shit about their self and they're guilty. About playing games, about playing mind games, mind spells, mental spells with people. End of story. That's why this ended. Damn it. And, yeah. All right, let's get your love oracle message, Leah. Here's the love oracle message for Leah. For Leah. Hmm. I just saw finances and career is affecting this connection. Yep, let go of control issues. For some of you guys, I told you, you ain't even going to try to call. you good. I'm not even going to put in no effort, no energy. I'm going to just let that shit go. Look, passion. But you still do got, you like this person. But yep, love yourself first. That's what this shit's about. Like, nah, I'm good. Um, express your love very soon. Someone here, this person, I feel like, yeah, this person's going to come back and in in, in like, hey, what's up? Well, how you doing? You know, I haven't talked to you in a while. Boom, boom, boom. But they already been exposed. Child, finances and career. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, romantic feelings on the bottom. Yeah, you know, how's it going? You know, I just, it's been a minute. But really, this person had a change of heart. They know they was wrong when they did this corny ass shit. Alright, they're showing me this deck. So we'll use this for your oracle. Oh, this popped out. Cat independent. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. See, and that's the thing. You got other options. You got other, you know, uh, people interested in you, want to date you and shit like that. And you like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't, you know, I'll just see. There's other fishes in the sea. I'm not dealing with this shit. Like, you tripping. You tripping. I'm not dealing with this. Get out of here with that. Like, no, I got, like, you know what I'm saying? I could have been talking to whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit. And for one of you guys, there's, like, one person that you really, really, really could be interested in. You have your eye on or somebody that is with you. Like, I'm not doing this. Get out of here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Someone that has a very nurturing spirit, all right, that you see outside of everybody else. All right. Someone here could also have blue eyes. Someone here, you definitely date outside your um, ethnic. Um, this that's just your confirmation. What is that? Oh, 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 that's it. The energy should f um, feel an adjustment. Yeah, be readjusting your energy. Yeah, beauty. What you say? I have other people that is attracted to me, other people that feel me, um, other people that like me. I ain't got time to chow. Time and out. Not again. Mm -hmm. I'm not dealing with this. Yep, freedom. And for some of you guys, you could have bumped this into this a couple of times all right and you're like nah all right yeah telepathy you've been thinking you can also be sending this person telepathic communication or they're sending you to tele telepathic communication and you're ignoring it like no nah, i'm good i don't need that shit in my life we grow and kill. all right what's your signs and planets let's check you out what's the signs and planets for leah Almighty, beautiful universe, and Holy Spirit's messages for the collective. What is the size of planet for Leo? For Leo. For the collective. What's the size of planets? Mm. 
Yeah, honey. Yep. Aryan energy. Yep. Retrograde and review. The next retrograde, this is when this could be reviewed. You could go over this shit. You like when this person is going to go come back. Especially if it's metro retrograde. I, I mean, and Mercury with communication, honey. Yep, investigate. Yep. Hey, you know what's going on? You know, I'm just <laughs> trying to see what's up with you. Or if it's a man, you know, how you doing, baby girl? It's been a minute since I talked to you. I'm like, let me give you a call. Let me hit you up. See what's up with it. Yeah, yeah something like that, honey. You can also be a Scorpio in your first house. Yeah, honey. Yep. That's the thing. This person did another just not used to spiritual connections, contracts here. And that's what a teacher is a lesson. That's where the lesson is. You were supposed to come in to do what you, was done here. I told you guys. Be, and I, I, you guys got to understand that. Yeah, clarity in a sixth house, Leo. Um, you guys got to understand that sometimes. You got contracts with people here to help clear karma as well. Sometimes you are that karma. They come, you teach a lesson to them, and they teach a lesson to you. It's in y'all's contract. This was a big uh, um, energy here as well. Between you, I said that at the beginning of the reading. Yeah, this was a lot of energy you shared with this person. Yep, and I had to wake that ass up. Karmic energy. Self um, note. I can't make this shit up. That's why I turned karmic in your life. All right, guys. Now, some of you guys could have also been like um, a Sagittarian, an Aryan, or a Scorpion, in, or a Leo. Oh, yeah, in your past life, yes. So, until you, okay, I don't want to get into that because it's a long, <laughs> a long, long story, but you can still be in your same sign in this life, in your last life, especially when you see the self note here. And the sixth house is, that's you, baby. I'm sorry, the sixth house is Virgo. Oh, hell yeah, someone here is stressed out about this karmic energy. But back to what I was saying, you can also still be your other side in your past life until you live out that full karmic contract is where I was getting at. Um, you can also be a Sagittarian. You could be connected to another Leo. Or another fire sign. All right, let's get this hot tea for you guys. And there's something here this person missed about you. They missed this. They didn't see. That's how you. That's how you get your ass checked. Because I missed a couple things in this reading. They missed a couple things. Too busy doing the bullshit they're doing. And not really knowing when you have crossed your soulmate or someone that was actually supposed to be in your life to change your life. For some of you guys as well. Yep, demonic entities is here. Yep, someone here has a newborn baby. I'm married is here. Police, you could be talking to a police officer or you could be. What else is here? Thank you. Yeah, someone here is a woman. That's or this is someone here that like, you know, uses their energy. Um, beautiful um, beauty, fashion. Yeah, yeah, industry. Someone here could be very attractive, very beautiful. Sexual perversion is here. Um, um, here, mental health, dating sites, conflict magic is here. Uh-huh. What is, else is here? Holy Spirit, thank you. Someone here could have just went to an Airbnb here. Fire signs. Oh, my. Y'all, I cannot make this shit up. Someone here could be, is a Sagittarian, a Leo, or an Arian. You could be connecting to a Leo, Leo, Arian, Arian, Sagittarian, Sagittarian here. Uh, Van, are you going to forgive me? Astro sex. Someone here could be, I said that, I think, already. Short hair. I test people and send them to you. Children is here. Third eye here. And someone here could have brown hair. And here's that Airbnb card that flipped over for you guys. All right. All right, my um, handsome and most beautiful lion and lioness. We're going to shut it down right there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. That is you connecting your energy and your frequency to this reading and other readings that you are getting. Don't forget that. Now, these are general messages, guys. So, at times, part of the message is resonating with you guys and full of the message will be resonating with you all. So, just take what is yours. I love you all. Stay dope. Next video upload. I shade a month.